Good afternoon, everybody. It's cruise night. What down that boat? Good afternoon slash evening, everybody. It's a fantastic, fantastic day in Southern California. My name is Wes with the Daily Driver Project. Um, today I'm going to, to hang out at the Ruby's Cruise uh, Inn down in Whittier. Uh, they have a Friday night cruise. They have kind of a season that's like April to about October. Always a fantastic show. Um, to be honest, I don't always do this many of them. I've actually hit about, this will be the fourth one so far this year. Um, I usually don't, I kind of do like the first two or three. I hit a couple in the middle and then I hit some in the last. But, so the reason I've been hitting so many is I bought a new camera and I'm wanting to hit, you know, kind of learn about that new camera. So, to give you an idea where we started when I started Daily Driver Project, where I am now camera wise, I started out with this little Canon Elf. Uh, great camera, um, nice, fits in your pocket, great, you know, a great general point and shoot. Um, the one complaint that I do have about the Canons is when you film video with these, they get these weird streak lines if it picks up any sun. It's like a big burst, but it freaks out the camera itself, actually. So it's a full white solid line that goes through the screen. So Canon, if you got that, fix that, because that's a problem. Um, other than that, I mean, a general for like pictures, a fantastic little camera, great way for me to start out at the time um, a little better than the phone to start the daily driver project in 2013 when I started it. So I went out, bought one of these. Um, my partner that I was working with at the time, fantastic job. Uh, we both had basically similar cameras. Then a friend of mine gave me a D. Ooh, don't have glasses, can't read. Hold on, glasses. You get old enough, you need reading glasses. Uh, D3100. Uh, so the D3100 uh, was also a fantastic camera, especially when it's free. Uh, my friend Charlene gave it to me. Great camera. Uh, this little Nikon did everything I needed it to do at the time, and it was a big step up from what that point and shoot was. There's just, you can do so much more with a interchangeable lens type of camera when it comes to photography and I keep wanting to push the daily driver project into a place where the photography improves every time that I cover a car show and or do some sort of um, whatever that has to do with vehicle cars and goes on the website so from there knowing that I wanted to upgrade I went to the Nikon 5300. Now I was using this up until two weeks ago. I mean it was a great camera. Uh, I really really like this. This is a, a crop frame camera as is the uh, 3100. Um, but a general great camera. Um, just kind of did everything I do. It's super light. So if you're like you know because I'm at a show on my feet all day. This makes it nice uh, where if it's on your shoulder around your neck. Now I wear a shoulder strap. Um, all day, so that's part of why I do it. I wear what's called a, it's by a company called Black Rapid. They make each shoulder straps, but it just hangs nice to where if you want to do something on your phone or whatever, it's hanging down to your hip and it's out of the way. Really nice. So then from there, I bought my new camera. Came in last week. Um, if you follow my social media, and you should be following my social media, follow my social media. Links are in below for social media follow my social media I well, first off I'm gonna make some people mad changed brands now the reason I changed brands is I have a lot of friends that shoot on Canon and their pictures and the color science that comes out of it are fantastic and I did a lot of research and everything I wanted to do and so I went out and bought a full-frame Canon 5D Mark IV. Now this has the 24 to 70 lens on it. I also have the 16 to 35 lens. Um, I bought the L lenses. The glass is like crystal, beautiful, clear. The range of depth of field that you have, I mean, 
in the little time I've been using this, it's unbelievable. So the first kind of events I did last week were some cruise nights. Um, I did um, during the week, the first kind of show where I really put stuff up on the Daily Driver Project was Saturday Rubies from last week. And then on, on Friday, I mean, and then Saturday, I did the bomb show, which if you look, last video, go check it out. Go look at it, the bombs video. And that was shot, everything, every still image in that was shot with the Canon uh, 5D Mark IV. This is a fantastic camera. This is not a light camera, but it is a fantastic full frame professional camera. The clarity, the color science, everything about this camera, worth it worth it this is like I, I've always wanted a full-frame camera and just decided to bite the bullet now in case you're wondering on my videos my videos the video itself which I'm recording on with right now so I can't really easily show you but is with a small uh, Sony um, camera it's a great it's the RX 90 it has a flip-up screen great for vlogging my buddy fireball who you know I've talked about I do wheels and waves with uh, it's he, he uses the same, I think he uses the RX80, RX90, they're all basically the same um, until you get up to the RX100 which is a much more expensive camera and um, you know it, does, it has a lot of extra features but this one does a fantastic job. I really love the image stabilization, the color is good, is really great especially for shooting cars like they talk about it doesn't work great for you know faces and whatever but you can work with that. There's Plenty of things you can do in Adobe Premiere Pro, which I use for editing, for that. But hopefully you guys are seeing a difference in the still photos in my stuff. Um, they're not going to be, I'm sure that they're not, you know, I, I, like the first few, like I had some good ones and then I had some bad ones. But that's just me learning the camera. And that's the thing is that for me, I learn best by going out and doing a lot of times photography that's the best way to learn um, you know as long as you kind of know the basics you can go out and just play with the camera there's a lot you can learn so let's go check out what's going on at Ruby's tonight let's go check out some fantastic cars let me know what you think of all the still images that are in this video and uh, you know because I'm excited that I got a new camera anyways let's go check out some cars
a fantastic time at Ruby's. I'm home now at the pad. Uh, just, you know, a fun little cruise night, weekly deal they have in Whittier, my hometown, so it's not far for me to go, hang out with friends, see some cool cars. You will, of course, have already seen all the cool cars. But uh, one of the things I did tonight, too, besides playing with the new Canon that I talked about earlier, was, um, this is my phone. It is a uh, Pixel phone. Um, not the Pixel 2, the original Pixel. Um, and I recently bought some Moment stuff. Um, Moment is this cool, like, if I could get the back off of my freaking phone, is this cool um, accessory deal that's a lens accessory. So you have the actual cover that you put on, um, which is just a cool, simple cover, not too expensive. And then these bitchin' lenses. Like, so I have both the wide angle and the super fish. Um, they come in this little bag. You can see, and it tells you what it is on the, on the piece. It's really, they're just the nicest lenses. They're heavy, they're metal and glass construction. They are fantastic, and I just have a blast with them. Um, this, um, so you can see it comes with the lens cover, and this, I believe, is the wide angle that's the wide angle lens and then there's also the super fish now the super fish I've been playing with uh, for a little while I just the shots that you get with it when you're shooting car shows are just fun like you can shoot like an entire interior um, the whole engine bay uh, just a little bit of everything so this is the super fish so by itself it just you know it's a simple flat lens but again the weight of this thing is crazy and then what you do is is you take the line that's on the edge of the bone I don't know if you're able to see that you'll see the line right there so you line those two up on the on the phone and then twist and you have this cool lens that works just awesome and does magical things with the phone um, just a blast like I have I love playing with the moment lenses when I have time at a show where I can stop and do some like fun especially with the super fish but the wide does great too I use them a lot a lot of times for Instagram and whatever if I'm trying to get more of the shot um, always always have dug them since I bought them I've had them for probably about a month now they are fun fun lenses and the quality is unbelievable but uh, here I'll show you some pictures here's a picture there's a picture, there's a picture, there's a picture. And if you want to see more, go check out my uh, social media, especially Instagram, where I put a lot of my stuff at. Go check out my Instagram, links below. You can check out the links um, and you can check it out. But uh, had a blast with Ruby's again. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for checking out the video. Thanks for doing all the, that stuff. Um, I, tomorrow's another show because it's the weekend and actually it's Memorial Weekend right now. This is Friday night. Uh, it's going to be kind of a busy weekend of shows and um, hope if, uh, you know, hope you had because this will go up Wednesday. Hope you had a great Memorial Weekend and uh, make sure you subscribe. If you already are subscribed, thank you so much. Um, don't forget to hit the notification button, bell, button, bell, smash it. Just be a part of this. Be a part of this great automotive community um, make sure you like the video make sure you do all that fun stuff and do all the fun things that YouTube has to offer thanks again for hanging out we'll see you at the next show